Hey, good morning, everyone. Welcome to Market Insider TV. It's our opening commentary Tuesday morning, November the 21st. Good morning. This is Brian Hoops for Midwest Market Solutions. I'll be doing RFD TV a little later this morning, 10 15 Central Time. Hope you're able to follow along. If not, I'll be uh, sending the link out in a few days uh, for that appearance. We had a private export sale announcement for soybeans. Finally, the first time in over three weeks, we've had 130,000 metric ton bean sale to China. And that is a supportive feature for our markets here this morning. Uh, I don't think we're going to run away and push a lot higher. We're going to need dryness in Argentina to uh, really push us a lot higher in here and overcome the farmer selling that we're seeing. But uh, the forecast for Brazil for the weekend, wet, one to three inches of rain again on tap. Uh, but... Argentina, better rains in the longer term forecast. Near term looks to be very dry, and that's a supportive feature along with the export sale. Crop practice really revealed nothing we didn't know. Corn, soybean harvest virtually done, but winter wheat conditions down a couple percent. That should be supportive here uh, this morning, I think, for the winter wheat contracts, specifically for that new crop July, where most of the dryness in the plains has uh, hurt the states of Kansas, Oklahoma, Texas, Nebraska, our main winter wheat producing states, uh, red winter wheat, and that is a supportive feature for those um, markets and uh, as well as those states having a big drop in ratings already. It's uh, bone dry and going to remain fairly dry as well through the plains. So we are off to a good start, but we got to have some rain in our uh, forecast to uh, you know, really help this crop out. All right, in the uh, livestock trade, I think we're going to have more technical selling in the cattle. We could see the bouncers, you know, a little bit of a bounce here as we're oversold, but till there's a, a bullish type reversal, the funds are going to be pressed to liquidate long positions, in my opinion. So, cash cattle trade probably going to be wrapped up by Wednesday of this week as uh, it's a holiday week with the Thanksgiving coming up. So, look for cash trade develop probably at lower money once again, and uh, we could see some hedge lifting after that cash develops. Have a great day. Good luck. Good trading. Hope to talk to you soon. This has been Brian Hoops.